my thighs. They are best friends. In fact, they are practically twins. My heart hurts a lot, and that's okay. Shut the front door. Oh, that's hot. I burned my finger. Taking up space is the cost of being yourself. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin and I post new videos every single Saturday with a few sprinkled in between. And I post videos mainly about eating disorder recovery and intuitive eating. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love for you to click onto that subscribe button down below and become part of our little family. This morning I woke up and it felt like I had been drop kicked in the face. I did not feel good. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of you know daylight savings being a little bit out of routine but something that i have noticed recently is that i have not been taking care of myself to be honest i think i've been using the excuse of time for a, for a long time now you know saying that i don't have enough time for this that i don't have enough time for that and mainly it's because i i really haven't had the time and i don't really think that it's an excuse but it isn't something that I can sustain because it definitely impacts how I move through life when I don't care for myself. So I figured we would just vlog the next couple of days, talk about some life updates, go through some self-care tips and tricks and things like that. This video is also being sponsored by Kinder Beauty, which we will talk about a little bit later. But something that really helps me when I'm kind of in the schlumps is to get ready. Not to stay in my pajamas, not to stay in sweats, but to actually put on, you know, clothes that are a bit maybe more put together. I'm gonna take a shower. We are going to do my hair and makeup. So that's what we are going to do. I woke up, I took the dogs for a walk, and now we get ready for the day. Okay, I've just showered and washed my face. Well, let me show you the outfit for today. So this top is actually new and it's from Aerie, which is no surprise, but I've been really obsessed with this kind of square neck top. I never wear them. I also never really wear these sort of cropped mid-drift showing shirts, but I'm just wearing them with a pair of blue jeans. And these jeans are from Old Navy. But the thing is, is that I normally don't wear jeans for prolonged periods of time. I put them on and I think I normally change, I don't know, like two hours later or something like that. It's mainly because I'm seated at my desk for most of the day. And so sometimes wearing jeans is just too much. It's too much, okay? And now we're going to do a little bit of makeup and we're gonna do my hair. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I might curl it. I'm not gonna do a full makeup tutorial, but if anybody would ever like that, then let me know. But I will go through some of the products that I use. This is the concealer that I use and it is from Benefit. And I just picked this up from the pharmacy. Like I don't have to go to Sephora or anything like that. Moisturize same skincare that I always do. I don't think I started moisturizing my face until I was like 22. So maybe this is your sign to hydrate that beautiful skin of yours. And this, you can say hi to me in the camera, is the bronzer that I use. It's by Iconic London. I don't think I've really ever heard of them besides this specific bronzer. So my skin has been breaking out like crazy i find it's pretty hard to see on camera because a lot of them are sort of under the surface under the skin pimples you know those ones that are really really painful and to be honest i have no idea what is causing them because i'm breaking out not just on my chin which which is where i break out the most but on my temples mainly a little bit lower over here on my cheeks as well breaking out maybe it's just a season of my life you know where my skin is not so great but that's okay because we are allowed to have blemishes, right? It's We're not perfect. We can't be, it's impossible. I'm going to take my very, very loved Butter London eyeshadow palette in the color that I always use, which we've you know hit pan many times, but it's called Enchantress. It's basically like this peachy champagne color. And I'm really sad because it's almost gone. So if you kind of have a recommendation for my showers, just make it noises, but if you have a recommendation for like a nudie, sparkly, champagne sort of eyeshadow cream, whatever it might be, let me know because I am gonna be in the market very, very soon to pick one up. And this might be weird and it might not be ideal, but I also put some on the tip of my nose to use as highlighter. So it kind of doubles as both. And I'm also gonna fill in my eyebrows with some brown powder, nothing crazy. And so today I'm gonna spice it up because normally I would just end with some mascara but I'm going to add on this, this brown mascara. 
not mascara, um, eyeliner, and I just kind of freehand it. Sometimes it looks okay, other times it does not. We make mistakes, we're human. There's nothing nothing wrong with that, you know? Uh, the pressure got to me. My, my wings do not match today, but um, I'm not gonna fix them, so this is what we're dealing with. Now I'm just using some of this Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline. I've been using it since high school. And the very last thing that I do is just apply some lip balm. And we are ready to start the day. So I'm still working, but I wanted to take a quick little break just, you know, for some body neutrality, body acceptance, all the good stuff. But when I sit in jeans, this is what I look like. I've got my tummy, I've got some rolls, and that's okay. That is okay. There is absolutely nothing wrong with what you look like. My thighs, they are best friends. In fact, they are practically twins. They never separate from each other and that is also okay and it took me a long time to accept my body as it is and i still don't accept it every single day because as i mentioned earlier on in this video we're not perfect and we can't be but please 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 don't follow people that make you feel negatively about your body negatively about yourself negatively about taking up space taking up space is the cost of being yourself you are safe here you are safe in your body. Don't fight against it. Your body loves you and it wants to take care of you. And this is normal. So I thought that right now would be a wonderful time to introduce the sponsor of today's video, which is Kinder Beauty. I think that my jaw actually hit the floor when Kinder Beauty reached out to work with me because not only have I been seeing this box everywhere, but I, <laughs> I have a confession to make. I am obsessed with subscription boxes and I think that it's just so wonderful to get something that is just for you every single month and also the surprise element of not really knowing what's inside. Oh, it just... It makes me feel so special and taken care of. And Kinder Beauty is a vegan and cruelty-free beauty subscription box and I'm just, I'm so excited to show you what's inside. I purposefully, purposefully did not look in the box. I did not look in the box for all of you because I thought that we should share this experience together of unboxing, looking at the products. I, oh, I'm excited. So as I mentioned, this is a beauty subscription box. So they've got things like skincare, makeup, hair care products, accessories. So I'm really excited to open this up and see what we've got in here. The moment of truth. Oh my goodness. There is a little pamphlet inside that tells you about all of the products that you got and their price points and everything like that. But I'm not gonna look at it because I just, I wanna be surprised on my own, you know? So the box that we actually have here is the Kinder Faves box. So all of their favorite products, everything in this box actually comes to around $122, but the subscription monthly is only $23. So definitely some bang for your buck, you know? I think this also allows an opportunity to try a bunch of different brands, to try a bunch of different products, to see what you like at an affordable price. And then maybe you can continue to purchase those products as well. So I think that that's definitely a bonus to having a subscription box. So the first thing that I'm pulling out of here is makeup remover glove and it says just add water we are going to have to test this out later when we are taking off this face we will definitely have to do that because this really really intrigues me very cool so this is the first item that we've got in our kinder box this month the next thing that i'm actually really really excited about and so happy that it's in this box are these bright eyes 
under eye brightening pads. I've seen these everywhere, like literally everywhere, on Instagram, on Pinterest, on YouTube. People just have these stuck to their under eyes. But this one says to depuff and to brighten the eyes. So I'm also really excited to try this because sometimes we wake up in the morning and we're a bit puffy and that's okay. But sometimes with the puffiness comes a little bit of soreness. So I'm excited to see if this helps. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. I'm so excited to try this. I've seen it everywhere and this is Earth's Harbor Mermaid Milk Moisturizer. And I love moisturizers, as you guys probably already know. But a lot of moisturizers actually break me out. I have very sensitive skin, so I'm very excited to see how my skin reacts to this product. But it also has spirulina and matcha, and matcha is my favorite. Honestly, I'm gonna open it right now to see what it smells like because, I don't know, I'm curious. It smells so good. It smells kind of herbally, if that makes sense, but stay with me. It kind of smells like green tea which i'm assuming is the matcha and let's put a little bit of this oh my god it feels like mousse it feels so beautiful wow and it goes on so smoothly i i love it <laughs> i love it i love the smell i feel like i just smell like a cup of green tea which is top tier also something that i quickly wanted to mention is if you do sign up for their three month or six month subscription plan you also receive a free box that is valued at 85 dollars i think like i mean come on come on that is so cool the next item that we have in our kinder beauty box is this ultra night serum it's by a company called dirty lamb which i've never heard of but i think that that's a really unique name look at that little lamb oh my goodness this is a night serum so we are also going to try this later tonight but the last product in this box that we will actually try out right now because why the heck not is this eco lips lip and cheek tint i don't normally wear things on my lips but i love putting things on my cheeks but why not try both let's open this bad boy up Ooh, it's like a brown red color and it's made with coconut oil and cocoa butter and it says that it smells like fresh hibiscus and it definitely smells exactly like that. If you've ever had like hibiscus tea, this is the perfect example. It's like a tea theme that we're going for today. But anyway, let's try to add some to our beautiful cheeks. It's very, very natural and buildable, which is something that I really like because sometimes you want a more subtle glow. Sometimes you want just to look, you know, beautifully rosy but it depends on the individual but it makes my lips feel really soft and not sticky again with the stickiness we we don't want to see that and we don't see that which i think is pretty pretty freaking cool anyway i realized that i've been talking for almost 20 minutes because that is something um that i do often so editing kaylin is really gonna love this clip and trying to condense it and cut it down but a huge thank you to kinder beauty for sponsoring this video i cannot wait to try everything out with all of my best friends on camera but for right now i've got to go back to work and then we'll make some lunch together we are back in my kitchen because we're gonna make some lunch and i know y'all love to see what i eat so why not include it in the vlog but i got these chicken tenders from costco recently and i'm going to cook a couple of these in the pan and just make a wrap because i'm feeling like a wrap so let's do some cooking so on the package it says oven bake only but um i'm cooking mine in the pan so we will see how i feel i just find it's faster this way but i'm going to put them on just one of these tortillas with some toppings, it'll be good. It'll it'll be okay. Also, I don't know what's been going on with me, but I've been really, really bad at drinking water and I feel it, <laughs> I feel it. So as an act of self-care, I'm trying to make water a priority, even though this is the only water that I've had all day. I feel like water is one of those things that I'm either super on top of it or I'm not. So I'm really trying to make it a priority for myself every single day because the body feels good when it drinks water. Self-care looks different for everybody, but this is something that is an act of self-care for me. So I burnt the chicken a little bit, but that's okay. It's almost done. On my plate over here, I have some bell peppers with hummus. I've got my tortilla ready, the lettuce, onion, and just some mayo. I just made some lunch, so I've got my wrap, the bell peppers and hummus, and just some chicken that didn't fit in the wrap. I also ended up adding some sriracha inside. 
Oh, so good, but I am a little bit of a baby with spice, so I don't put that much. But let's do a quick taste test of this wrap. I'm so hungry, it's gonna be so good. Eating is a form of self-care, okay? Okay, cheers. <laughs> this is so good. Hello, mamas. It is <laughs> Yeah, I think you can see me a bit better now. It is later, <laughs> and this daylight savings, like, fucked me up for lack of a better term. It, it messed me up and it feels like it's 9 p.m. What I hate though is just how dark it gets. The sun sets at 4.30, it's too much. I figured that we would try to remove the makeup that I'm wearing right now with the makeup remover glove that I got. And apparently all that you have to do is moisten this glove with water, press it to your skin for a moment, and then gently remove the makeup in a circular motion. And apparently you don't need makeup remover or anything, so. I'm very intrigued. Let's see how it works. Recently, I've been watching Dawson's Creek, which is a show that came out in the 90s, and I'm obsessed. I feel like I'm just living through teen angst in my 20s, like first kisses and romance and love, and it just, it's, it's amazing. So here's a little glove. I'm a bit skeptical, but let's see. So I'm gonna wet her, and then we are going to, you know, Watch this face of ours. I've got to hold it to my face and then rub. I think, <laughs> is this just for face makeup? My shower is making so many noises today. I just did like a body rinse, so the water's coming out. But the makeup is definitely coming off relatively quickly. Um, I don't know why in my brain I was like, you can use this on your eyes with, you know, waterproof this and waterproof that. Um, I don't think that you can. I, I'll try it anyway, but I'm pretty sure that this is just meant for your skin to really get everything off. It's really nice and soft, so. I'm actually pretty shook. This glove, it just, it doesn't feel like a normal washcloth. I feel like it's, like it's not abrasive or anything. It's quite soft, but it like holds my skin. That sounds really weird, but. So I actually was able to use it everywhere on my face. I use it on my eyes, on my face, on my skin, and it does not feel abrasive. My skin is not red at all. Really surprised. It seems that it, God, this is pretty nasty. But look at all of the makeup that was on my face. I'm just going to add some of that mermaid milk moisturizer onto my face. It's so thick, so you really don't need a lot. I really like how that makes my skin feel, but this is the after. So for dinner tonight, we are having pizza and it smells delicious. So we're gonna watch the new season of Big Mouth, <laughs> not the whole season, but a couple of episodes and munch on this. And I will see you tomorrow morning or later tonight. I will let you know. You are balanced on the sink in my bathroom, but I'm about to go to bed. I'm so tired. <laughs> But I figured I would put on this Dirty Lamb Ultra Night Serum from my Kinder box. This kind of also smells a little bit like tea. There we go. I have very in-between skin, like it's not very dry, it's not very oily, it's very much in the middle or it depends on the weather. Um, today my skin's feeling a bit oily, so I added this, which is an oil. So we will see tomorrow how it reacts because again, I do have very sensitive skin. Good night and I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, friends. It's the next day and it's not really morning. It's pretty much afternoon. I've been working basically all day. And today is November 9th and it's a pretty sad day for me. <laughs> it's the anniversary of my mom's death, which is really hard for me every single year. And grief is really, really difficult to explain. And it's also hard to understand if it's not something that you've ever gone through. <laughs> My dogs are also chewing bones, so they're adding to this video as well. But it's been 19 years, and she's missed out on basically everything. She's missed out on my prom, my graduation, my boyfriends and partners. She, if I ever have kids one day, she will not get to meet them. and. I didn't think I was gonna cry <laughs> hard sometimes because these feelings don't go away <laughs> and you think that after 19 years that they would go away a little bit but some days it's really hard and I see people who have such good relationships with their parents and I know that that's not the case for everybody and my heart goes out to 
anybody who has some kind of broken relationship with their parents or absent parent or whatever it might be but I feel bad because sometimes I have these pangs of jealousy I guess um, or sadness towards people who just have parents who are so incredible and who are still here and this doesn't really make a lot of sense but I don't know on this day I just feel an overwhelming sense of sadness and loss and well grief I guess I just miss her and there's so much that I would want to tell her and want to share with her and I think that that sucks the most is that there's so much that I want to say and so many questions that I want to ask because I didn't even really get to know her so I'm missing somebody that I didn't even get to fully know or understand I don't know what she liked or what she didn't I only know bits and pieces and it's hard to take care of myself when I feel this way sometimes and I'm not sharing this for pity or for I'm so sorry or for anything like that I just I don't want to come on here and fake smile because that's not true and that's not who I am and that's not how I feel and I always want to be as honest with you guys as I possibly can and today I'm not really feeling good I was supposed to go to a fitness class later today and I canceled it I just kind of want to do nothing and it's not really always an option which sucks <laughs> my heart hurts a lot and that's okay because it really I guess makes me appreciate the people that I do have so much more and I have the best friends ever and I love them so much and I just want the best for them and I have people who really do care about me and I know all of you guys do too so I hope you guys know that I love you guys too anyway I think I'm gonna compose myself a little bit more make some yummy comforting food and we'll talk when I'm maybe a bit more not crying everywhere and making my counter soaking wet so I just I miss her and I'm giving myself the grace and the space to feel these emotions wouldn't be a self-care vlog if we didn't cry a little bit, right? Anyway. Hi guys. It's been two hours or so. <laughs> Got a little visitor over here. Hey. I love you too. And I just made myself some lunch. And today we're going for something really... Can I have a little space? No? Okay. Very simple and easy. And I just have some chicken tenders with french fries and I'm gonna use honey as the dipping sauce because that's what my mom used to do and I I really really like it I love honey basically on on anything but if you've never had it with french fries or chicken then I would highly recommend I called my grandmother and my aunt and also my dad so it was good to kind of talk my feelings and emotions out with them you know with other people who are also grieving on this day and who lost somebody who was just so incredibly special to them. If you are grieving, I highly encourage you to talk to the people that you love because chances are, um, if they also know the same person, that they're feeling the same way, even though they can't maybe express it in the same way that you do, or even just talking to your friends and having you know, somebody just to listen to you and hold space for you, I think is very, very important. I'm a very emotional person. My sister is basically the exact opposite. She feels things, but she doesn't show it so explicitly. Whereas whatever I'm feeling, you're gonna know. If I'm upset, I cry. If I'm angry, I cry. If I'm sad or happy, I cry. And I used to think that that was something that was very shameful. But it's not shameful to feel your emotions. And don't let anybody ever make you feel like you're too much for taking up emotional space. But I think after lunch, I'm going to finish up the work that I have to do, which um, is not much, which I'm very thankful for. And then after, I think I'm gonna crawl into bed and watch some Dawson's Creek until I feel better because you're allowed to do nothing. You don't have to fill up your day with productivity of any kind. Um, just to you know fill time or forget your emotions because they're still there even if you're not feeling them at the time And I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe we'll do a little face mask or something more fun And if anyone is still watching well, thank you for allowing me the space to be myself and to feel everything that I well 
feel. Hi friends, it's later. Um, spent most of the day crying and also have not left my house. And sometimes that's what self care looks like. But right now I thought we would do this eye mask together and just <laughs> make some Rice Krispie squares and end the night with you know something that's a bit more fun <laughs> and not as depressing. So I'm gonna put these on first. I'm not 100% sure if I did this right, but if these do help with puffiness, then we will definitely see when we take it off because God knows my eyes are very puffy from all the crying I did. But crying is very therapeutic and it's okay. So I kind of feel like a superhero <laughs> wearing this and it's very cool and refreshing. I'm not fully sure if this is going to work or turn out well because I don't have a lot of Rice Krispies, but we will see. I hope this vlog kind of shows or serves as a reminder that you can be having a really good day and feel very happy and then the next day can be very challenging and that's okay. We've still got to take care of ourselves and prioritize ourselves. You know, you are important and so am I. Let's add in some butter, the marshmallows. Around that many. I'm so hot. <laughs> I feel like all of my crying is like overheated my body. I feel like all that I did in this vlog was talk. You know, I'm a chatterbox and I can talk all day. So I'm not even sure if people really like these style of videos where I'm not really doing much because one, I don't drive <laughs> yet. And two, I live kind of in the middle of nowhere. So if I were to vlog, you know, daily or weekly or whatever it might be, it would probably be a lot of me talking and a lot of me cooking. So I'm not sure if people like that, but I mean, I like vlogs like that, so. Let me know. Also, we've got this like kind of clumpy mixture right now. I'm going to add in some vanilla and also just a little pinch of salt. We had actually more Rice Krispies than I thought we did. The bag felt really light, but here we go. And now we wait for them to cool before we slice into it. I always lick the spatula, so. It was really delicious. Oh, that's hot. I burned my finger. So I figured that I would end this vlog just doing something that I like, doing something that is artistic. Um, I'm not gonna write because I don't have the mental capacity for that today. So what I'm going to do is I doodled this sketch not too long ago. Actually, never mind, that's a lie. It's been a while, probably a couple of months ago, but I never got around to like covering it in watercolor. I'm not a very good artist, but I like to do it. So that is what we are going to do right now. I think that when people think of self-care, they always think of face masks and bubble baths and moisturizing your skin and making yourself look pretty, whatever that would look like to you. But self-care is so much deeper and so much more important than that. Self-care is about crying. It's about feeling your emotions. It's about giving yourself the space to be human. I think a lot of the time we try to pretend that we're okay when we really truly aren't. And there is no strength in hiding your emotions, just like there is no weakness in crying. Growing up, I never really found a place that was my own. And so now, at almost 25 years old, I've created an online space that makes me feel so loved and so seen and so heard. I'm forever grateful for every single one of you. I love you. So I have finished my art session and let me show you the final piece. So as I said, I'm not artistically inclined. This might look like a fifth grader did it or maybe even younger, but I had a really good time doing it and I also feel a lot more calm. These eye masks have been on long enough, so let's remove them. My face feels really nice. I'm not sure if my eyes are less puffy, but to be honest, if you've got puffy eyes or not, it doesn't matter because both are totally okay. But it definitely made me feel very refreshed. So I really, really liked that about them. Anyway, I think that we are going to end the vlog here. I'm just going to take off. I'm just gonna take the rest of the night easy, watch a funny movie or something like that. I wanted to say a huge thank you to Kinder Beauty again for sponsoring this video. But without all of you, this wouldn't have happened anyway. So thank you so, so much to all of you as well. And don't forget that I also have a discount code for all of you as well. All of the information for Kinder Beauty will be linked in my description. So yeah, thank you guys so much for being my best friends. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.